there, it's Shell. And Clint is still working on ink blenders, because that's all we do these days. <laughs> but really, it's supposed to be raining all day this weekend, or all week. And the work that he's doing, he really needs to take care of it uh, now, because it's really hard to uh, do stuff like that inside. So, uh, we're going to make some tags. So all these cutoffs that we have, you know, when we cut down our paper to 8.5 by 11, that's what we're going to do today. So, let me kind of straighten up some stuff here. I'm happy with my journal so far. It's starting to get pretty, pretty good size, pretty thick and lovely. So that is fun. Okay. So if we get a chance, I don't know when you'll see this video, but if we get a chance, we're going to start working on my um, side table. <clears throat> Made from a vintage sewing machine cabinet. Clint is going to do that, and we're going to try to record it for you guys. That way, if you want to, you know, kind of do the same thing, then you certainly can. I don't know where that came from. But we'll kind of show you how we're going to do that. We're thinking it's going to be nice and rainy and can't do much outside, so this is going to be perfect. So here are my cutoffs. We're going to make some tags out of them. I think they are they're 11 inches, so I typically like 6 inch. Six, six and a half. We're going to do six and a half. Save these. You can either make small tags out of them or we can um, make journaling cards, which is nice too. So, what did we do? Six and a half. Again, that's one of those ones. So, I really like like three by six and a half or three by six is my typical favorite size. But I always need tags because it just seems like that's just something you always need for journals. So it's nice to be making them now. Now this one is about six inches so that's what we're going to use. So I am going to go at three inches. I think that's better size than three and a half, but I don't want to waste paper if I already have them cut to three and a half, you know. So we'll make two of them. We'll see how fast we can pull these together. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Not me. I always have great plans and then it just doesn't work out. So when you're cutting a tag, you're going to cut your corner off, match it up, flip it over, and then cut it on the other side. All these are single sided paper, so it's really nice because you don't even have to put anything on the back if you don't want to. They're also like a cardstock weight. So that's even better, um, you know, for journaling cards, that kind of stuff. And then once I have one, I just kind of use that as my template. So this one is, kind of cut that off. And then you just slide this one all the way over. So a couple little bigger ones but once you get some um, some pieces it just makes it go so much faster so I'm gonna try to have this journal finished by the weekend we'll see see how that comes about I still have quite a few things to put in there Okay, 
So what do we have? One. Now with tags, you can, you know, just put them in a put them in a pocket or whatever you want to do. But you can also like fold them so they could be like a tip in. So you could um, put a hinge here and it could tip in. So that can be an extension of your page. So you know, really, it's just whatever you can think of. So where is my ink? That's tea dye. Where's my cup my... Not that it really matters, but I know I have my other one. I really need to clean this up. <laughs> We're just going to use junk that we have all over our desk. Maybe I can clean it up while I'm at it. I've had a like a basket that I was putting all my stuff in to kind of keep it organized. Now I can't find my basket, but you know. So go ahead and ink it, whatever you want to do. This is a cedar ink blender. Clint has a few of them still available in the store. And you could ink the back too if you want. You know, just kind of whatever you want to do. Put coffee dye paper on the back. And typically what I do, anything I make for this journal, if I don't have room for it, I will, um, come back and just put them in a package that goes along with the book. Sorry. It took me a minute to think what I was talking about. <laughs> this just kind of covers up the white. This one has like a bumpy edge because I uh, ripped it. And I like the look of that, so I just kept it. These are going to be fun, though, I think. I love this green. Okay, so we got those. Let me find my um, basket. Okay, let me put some of this stuff in my basket. And then it will be so much easier <laughs> to kind of figure out what I have in here. I don't know if those really need to go in there, but... And then I can just pull from the basket whenever I need something. I'm not good at organization, I tell ya. Oh, good grief. So that's one thing. The um, sides of these were not really glued on very well. And it probably would have, I should have saved them. I still have them over here. And glued it back on. I think that would keep it nice, huh? But I didn't. Keep it like that. That will help a lot. <laughs> oh, geez. And even if I don't need those, you know, in here. I mean, look, I have a green piece right there that I'm sure I remembered at one time. Just kind of clean up my space. So let me do that off camera. There's no sense in you guys watch it. watching me do that. I am just, you know, all my little odds and ends I'm going to throw in here. Probably take these out because they're going to get wrapped around stuff. And I'll put them over here beside me on the other side. Yeah, okay, let me do that and just kind of organize just for a minute. Okay, uh, I got half of it cleaned off. <laughs> this house, or this place is a mess. I tell ya. Okay. 
Okay, so I do have like half of, half of the items over here. This is something I got. Where did I get this from? I don't remember. But they're kind of fun. They got fun, fun fall colors. Oh, isn't that fun? I like that. Here is like a maroon. I don't want them all the same, so. So all the scraps and stuff are going in, in this little basket. And then I can kind of organize it just a touch more than what it was because it was just getting on my nerves. And I can kind of sort through here, you know, napkin and all that good, good stuff there. <coughs> okay, so let's just kind of decorate these. I really like these. They're really fun. Now this one's a little bit larger than what I would typically use. I was thinking if you wanted to, you could even put them together. And then have one of those secret, um, secret tags, which is always fun. Maybe we'll do that here in a minute with those. They're not perfect, but I think I want this one just to be um, plain. Okay. But I kind of liked that. And I do have some of this, which I think would be really fun. one I'll toss just kind of if I put it like this Ooh, I do I like this side better I think I like this side it's got more um, kind of scripty we're having a huge um, for pet safe which is like our local adoption places they always have a huge yard sale so it starts on Wednesday so we might try to go this weekend to that it's usually pretty massive do I like that maybe kind of like that kind of do like have a couple of ideas. Of course, I don't have to use all these little stickers at once. I can't remember where I got them from, but I can always look back on my Etsy. I'm pretty sure I ordered them. Now I'm not so sure. But <laughs> not fun. this little piece I can just toss down here if it gets covered up it gets covered up it's not that big of a deal instead of just a little trash piece and then what if we use some um, maroon or the orange ribbon like here
kind of fun. Then we could put, um, let me see, let me think, let me think. More junk over here. I didn't get my whole desk cleaned off. I only got a section of it. I tell ya. yellow. If you don't have the right color, get yourself like an alcohol marker and color it because it works perfectly. These are just, just a touch bigger than what I lot of stick glue. You can use art glitter glue, whatever. I think we all have our favorite glues and stuff. And then we're going to Okay, that's funny. Maybe it needs, needed to be like our glitter glue, huh? Okay. Well, I figured it would work, but it did not. So, that's okay. Maybe that's why I should have used Fabri-Tac, huh? Think of that. It just, it's not the smartest thing. My mind's not working. What the heck? <laughs> First time for everything. Don't tell Clint I said that. <laughs> You'd be like, my mind has never worked. Is that napkin? It's not the best one for this. I prefer paper towel. I just had this sitting there. What a mess. Okay, that. I don't like it. It's got too much glue, glue all over it. Okay, let's try another one. Just use Fabri Tag. Oh, you guys, I tell you. Sorry. Sorry if this is painful to watch. You should be me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to try this now. There we go. I like that one better. The other one had way too much glue on all of it. Oh, I tell ya. 
Uh, I do have this, like, this stuff. Isn't that cool? I'm going to use it. I think it's awesome. I'm not sure where I got it. Oh, did I get this from Lindsay? No. Lindsay, did you send me this? I don't know. Sometimes I can remember, but sometimes I can't might have been in my stash for a while. So I am going to put, I know I had some in my stash at one time, but Lindsay sent me all kinds of stuff. So that could have been from her. Sorry, Lindsay, I can't remember. She knows how I am though. <laughs> That is so perfect for, you know, a fall journal. Isn't that cute? I love that. A little off, but I'm keeping those because I might use them. And then I think we need a saying. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to wait on the sayings because I really liked the one that, um, that thing from Robin, I forget what it's called, but I really liked what a saying that she had. And I wanted to go and look at her digitals and see if there's anything else I could use in this book. I think that'd be really fun over here. So this is kind of cool. It says fires burning low, which kind of reminds me of fall. So we got one semi done do this one. Uh, ink the back. <clears throat> but did I want to yeah, let's do that. It's not what I originally was going to do, but it's a little off. I just remembered I wanted to do that. <laughs> Sorry. This is an idea that came to Clint, and I thought it was such a fun idea. Well, I don't know if that was the, that's how I interpreted his idea. I don't know if that was exactly what he had in mind. But that's how I interpreted it. Interpreted it. it, it, it. Another smaller tag. Actually, that one. Um, do I have paper that I have not cut yet? So that's typically what I would use. Oh, here's one. Yeah, we can kind of cut this one down to about right here. I think that's as far as it goes, hopefully. So I 
said, you've probably seen this one before. But, and then, I don't have to do this part, but I'm going to. Okay, so you want your circles to kind of line up. And then we're just going to decorate the front of this. So there it is. I'm going to use a gold one. I want this one to be the front. to you. I'm going to go for, let's do this one. Be careful when you use your scissors for making your hole bigger because I have ripped a few. So, because those scissors will just like slice, slide right through them. So, we're going to decorate this. Oh, I love that one. I think it's so fun. Even if I don't put anything else on that, I love it. Okay. So let's see what we have over here. I really like this, even though I already used it. Move some stuff out of the way. there, one back here. That's kind of fun. I like that. Try not to put too much thought into it. <laughs> you guys know I'm awful about doing that. Don't put, do as I say, not as I do. Of that yellowing of the um, <coughs> music paper. It just kind of makes me happy. What's this? Oh, buckaroo. Okay. Not sure what else I want to do, so let me kind of look through all my stuff here and see. I tell you, I'm just running out of room. would be kind of fun just a little or what if we just use this stuff the green you know like one here and one here that might work nicely but take it all the way up to there like that and maybe a yellow one on the other I'm getting my getting use out of those for sure. It was not that cold today, but my fingers are cold. I hear something.
the way to the top. That's kind of fun. You know, you don't have to put a lot of time in these. They take so long to make. They really do. At least I feel like they do. But like anything you put in a journal, some of it just takes forever to create. So we can decorate this. I might have to trim it just a touch down because it just is way too tight. So I'm going to trim it here. them being tight and you have to fight with them. That's better. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put some of this on the stuff. I think that just really makes it so just a touch longer. <clears throat> okay, you only want it to go through one because the other one And you don't want to pull too tight because you can, you know, just pull that right out. Just take your time. There we go. That's cute. I kind of like it. <laughs> and then this one, if you want, you can... Well, you still have to put something there, huh? Let's just put like one. Maybe two. Of course, you could decorate this one as well. I don't think I will today, though. You just want something so that you can grab hold of it. And then just trim it to your to size. And then when you're going through it, you can um, you just pull that out. And then that's kind of like a secret journaling spot. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and put another um, eyelet there just so it looks finished. like that. I, I like them pretty simple like this. I think they look really fun. And by not doing everything at once, decorating everything to the hilts or whatever, then you can, um, you know, have some space for you to be creative in the journal. 
some people don't like to do anything in a journal they just want to have it to look at so it kind of depends on what you want you know to do and stuff like that so I saw these little clocks over I thought those might be kind of pretty Let's see if we can get two more done before before I end the video I think I'm gonna put that on there I kind of like it Just kind of, if you roll it, that works for me. Again, just do what works for you. And then I'm going to, I don't know where my thing went, so we're just going to burnish it in there just a touch. that that's kind of kind of simple kind of like that let's do something similar to this one It gets really windy here before uh, storms come in. Can you hear that? That's how I imagine, like, um, when that one girl talks about on the um, moors in the secret garden, how the wind howls on the moors. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's how I imagine it would sound. Do this without getting glue everywhere. This would be kind of fun over the top of that. This is like a uh, calendar.
wanted to, you could put, you know, that one's too small, but you could put some, um, paper dolls. kind of like them the way they are. I really like this one like this because you can journal. So let's just put in a eyelid. But I think this would be really cute for um, <coughs> to put your own like autumn saying. I think that would be really cute. This one I'm not so sure about. I have to think about that one. I need black just because I'm running out of some colors there. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I want to go and look for some more of this stuff because I know. Lindsay gave me a whole bunch of this, so different colors. So let me go look real quick. Ooh, look at these fun colors. So it is pretty, pretty possible that she sent me that. Like this one, I think it'd be really fun with this. And then we could put like the red or the orange leaves on it. I love that. Okay, and I want to put some of these leaves. Not quite the right color, but that's okay. All different colors in fall. I want like a cup or something to put this in. Put the lid on and keep it upside down. I don't know if that would help, but keep it from, um, you know, having a weight on it or whatever. Okay, I love it. I think it's so cute. So, since I did that one, I think I want to do the same with this one, but with yellow. So, we'll see what we have. Because since I have the yellow um, leaves. Um, yeah. Ooh, this one right here is perfect. Close enough anyways. What is this stuff called? Jute. I think it's jute. I need to organize some stuff. Pretty sure I did that way too long, but that's okay. I'd rather it be too long than too short. And if 
you're worried about it coming undone, you can just put a little bit of glue underneath that knot. Um, I think I want... works so much better than that other glue. Then I want the yellow. No, what do you think? It needs saying, I think, because it just feels incomplete. So let me see. I have another look over here. <laughs> so there is an occasion. Here it is, actually. Occasions, which is really nice for um, because it does have like a. Thanksgiving and fall and stuff like that. So, oh, I don't have much. Okay, gratitude turns what we have into enough. That'll be perfect. I'm gonna ink it. We're gonna wrap this one up. I think that words just really make it. You know what? When you just don't have quite the right um, idea, I think it's just missing something. Try words. I think it's kind of like a little focal point, and it really makes a difference. I like it. I think it looks cute. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. And got us some tags, which is so fun. We, I always need tags. That's one of the things that I lack on the most. I lack the most. This one, I happen to see this. I was thinking, wouldn't that be cute? Just hang in there. So, let's do that real quick while I'm... I 
like a charm, even though it's not really. That's cute. Okay, I like it. So I hope you guys were inspired by this. Again, I am going to go look and see if I can't find some little digitals or something I think would be cute here. And if not, I might just leave them the way they are. I think they turned out really cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.